a desire, but ha do you think that they've come to that sort of step yet? 15% of their GDP, the UK economy is... I think the odds are now 50% that you'll get another vote. So we'd have to delay, uh, we'd, have to article, uh, with, we'd have to unilaterally withdraw Article 50, presumably. Yeah? Look, the, the, for Europe, I think if they see any sign that Britain is prepared to think again, I think they will want to do everything they can to facilitate it. I mean, Brexit is also bad for Europe. You're pulling a big economy out of the European single market, and you're weakening Europe politically at a very time when China is immensely powerful and when America's alliance is more uncertain. So the argument for Europe to, to do everything it can, if the British are prepared to rethink our position, for Europe to do everything it can to accommodate that, I think that will be a very strong desire in the European part for goods, where Europe has a huge surplus with Britain, but they want out of the single market of services where um, Britain has a huge surplus with Europe. You would like us to stop Brexit? How? I still believe it's possible that Brexit is stopped. I think there is no majority in Parliament for any proposition the Prime Minister brings back. It's either going to be a proposition that people regard as pointless because we're still tied to Europe's rules but have lost our say, or very expensive because we're shut out of the single market. I think if there is a block in Parliament, the obvious thing is to go back to the people for a vote and say, do you really want to proceed in these circumstances? And I think if that happens, I think there's sufficient numbers of people who will reconsider their position. And also there are a large number of young people who I believe will come out and vote for their future.